you grease that up because it's like it's not going in, you know, when it hits. Mm -hmm. Is what I would assume. Yeah, it feels like it's like it was just like. Are you blaming it on Ted? <laughs> I usually do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, morning, everybody. We're here with our friends Jonathan and Adrian. Jonathan has has his uh, own you. Yeah, I, I quit. I quit. I, I, I got locked out this morning. Yeah. We're having troubles with the door, so we're trying to figure that out, and then we're gonna go hunting. We're also doing a little bit of uh, talking this morning. Just met these guys, but we've been watching them on YouTube. Catman Outdoors, correct? Yep. Yeah, check them out on YouTube. We really like their videos. We've been watching them, so check them out. They're here to hunt the same piece of public with us. Should be a good time. We're pretty excited about it, but we're gonna try to fix this door and then find some deer. Find some deer. Hopefully find... First go, find deer. <laughs> find deer. I think there's a lot of deer here, seriously. Like, there's one thing I was going to say. It seems like there's a lot of yeah. deer. We found some scrapes pretty easily yesterday. And that's so you got some good sign there? That's Everybody good. was saying, you know, find the scrapes. Once you find the scrapes, then you find the box, I guess. And they were like, basically find a good scrape line, set up on it, and that's how most people are killing bucks around here, so. Hmm. Hey, it worked. <laughs> it worked. Did it work? It did work. Okay, we're good. We're good. Just enough effort. Hey, there's deer tracks. There's deer tracks right here. You're walking over in the leaves. Maybe, maybe only one or two sets, but right here, there's been deer coming right through here where we parked. Yeah, we're on a trail, aren't we? So we're going to be covering some ground. Most of today, if not all of today, is just going to be covering ground. We probably won't be setting up in a tree or anything until tomorrow. we got to find where the deer are and where they're not and get an idea of this place. The pines are pretty thick in here. That's fresh. Well, when we were walking there, that's what I said. I thought I heard something moving off. It wasn't Did you? Loud. I didn't hear anything because you are in front of me. I don't doubt it. We may have bumped one already. How many, how many piles of droppings have we seen so far? Like five. five? We ain't even gone very far. I'm slowly starting to like hunting in pines. Is it a buck? Is it a good one? I, I saw big horns. That's all I could see. You saw big horns? Yeah. I saw the shape of a deer running. We just jumped one up down in the bottom and it ran up. Did it go up the hill? It went up at an angle. That's the hill we were going to go up. It came, it came, I don't know if it was bedded. It was down in the creek bottom. Yeah. Like down the very bottom. Yeah, it was running through the creek. That's where we heard it. Yeah, I heard I heard the deer running in the water and then I saw it cutting up this way and I lost sight of it. That's a shooter to me. <laughs> I think we got a deer coming up our side in this thick stuff. I'll go a little slow on that because we may have a deer at our level in this thicket here. Hey, you keep going, I'm gonna sit here. So, I'm going down this hill, down this little hollow here, trying to get around where, we, where that buck, that first buck went that we jumped. Adrian's going back up to the truck because he forgot something pretty important. But I'm slowly working my way down towards this, towards this creek where, where the deer are, but farther up the creek. So hopefully uh, I'll be out of sight when I get down there. And if they are moving around, if any of them comes up the creek, I'll be sitting right there, waiting for Adrian to come back.
really is the biggest step. What do we got going on here, Chapman? Uh, just the start of some deer fajitas. Hopefully, I got enough. No good. Two of the best things to cook together is like bell peppers and onions. Right. But the, the wild edge, the wild edge steps have so much room here. And Catman, you use these extensively now, just as your platform wild edge, right? That's my platform, yeah. So anyway, the thing is, you're talking about steps. So there's four of these right here, right? Mm -hmm. And I can put those in a pack. Mm -hmm. Like there's a no, pack, a fanny pack. Yeah, and there's no, there's, there's, uh, there's no bulk, and I can get. I mean, I'm 6'5", I think I can get higher in life, but I'm talking about guys that are just average yeah. size. Yeah. We're talking about getting 20 and 25 foot with four and five of these. Mm -hmm. Right here is four wild edge. So what they're doing is they're using this nader suede. It's, it's wrapped around their knee. Mm -hmm. And when they step, they're, they're coming here and their foot really is in this loop, right? You see what I'm saying? So they're Makes using that sense. as a step as well. So every time they step, this comes with them because it's attached to their neck. Yeah. Take it here. Mm -hmm. Come through. The cool thing is these come with a bag. He's got, he's got the knot on the bag. So if you forget how to do yeah, it. It's always there. <laughs> I'm sure I'd forget it every season. So you can see they're going to be here so now. Oh, okay. But see, that's, that's the thing. I haven't, I haven't uh, been doing it on this thing instead of tree. a tree. It's yeah, going to be work. rock, it, it gets rock solid. Oh yeah. Here we go, I got it. That one's done. And I can see where it makes a lot more sense, yeah. And where, where it, when you get it locked in, it's not going look anywhere. Look at that, and like, yeah. you can put side pressure on it. Oh yeah. Anyway, but yeah, if you, so I'll use these. I'll put one here, stand on that, mm -hmm. and have it right there for a platform. But dude, think about it. Climbing up the tree, Oh, yeah. I've got that, that thing on right there, an aider, and I'm, I'm only taking four of those. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's it. well, Adrian's head out for the day. He's got to head back home. Uh, Zach and Ted are out. They've been out hunting all morning, I guess, kind of still poking around trying to figure out what the deer are doing, and it's kind of what I, where I'm at. I actually kind of caught up on sleep this morning because uh sometimes that's important but anyways i'm about to head out and uh maybe scout a little bit of new ground because the spot we were in yesterday i'd really like to go in before daylight tomorrow and set up climb a tree so i'm gonna go somewhere else today i'm not sure yet try to check out a couple spots here and maybe even set up a climb a tree this afternoon if i find a good spot so i picked a spot on the map it, it kind of looks good going down into this hollow here it looks like it backs up to some private land that's probably managed or hunted because judging by a satellite it looks like there's been shooting lanes cut through the whatever they got growing i'm just kind of guessing off the map this hollow here's public but it's uh, being bow only right here and gun season off on private i th i thought this might be like a kind of a sanctuary for the deer uh, down in this hollow here and uh, so that's what I'm gonna go and find, try to find out right now but there's multiple sets of tire tracks here and they're fresh I mean it was raining two days ago so so somebody's been here you know recently and I don't know you know like where they were hunting or how much or if they were even deer hunting but you know, there's a set of deer tracks right in the tire tracks well, that's that's the first good sign I'm just gonna ease off down to these pines and uh, just kind of work my way down. If I don't start seeing good deer sign pretty soon, I'm probably going to back out and try another spot for the rest of the afternoon. So let's grab my bow here and see what we can find. Not sure, but I think I think a lot of these are deer tracks. They're not super fresh, so it's hard to tell. I guess maybe it was a squirrel and it's an older sign, but I'm pretty sure those, a lot of these are deer tracks. I can hear something over this ridge here down in the hollow. I'm trying to stay up on top here until I get to the downwind side of that hollow. Because I don't want to go straight down and have my wind blow down into it all. was uh, farther up the ridge earlier and thought I heard something down over the edge. It was probably those turkeys. 
but they had moved on by the time I got to the edge because I looked down didn't see any or hear anything and now here they come up over this little saddle here it almost looks like a good spot to sit here but it's a little too close to the boundary and I really like to ease on down towards this creek bottom where I, I think the deer lot will funnel down into this bottom for the evening Coming out of the pines now down into this little drainage in this hollow. And just down here it's open hardwoods. And the boundary's like the boundary runs like right down here. So I'm staying close to the boundary but facing into public. And I'm hoping that deer are bedded up in these pines somewhere and kind of stage down through here as they head off into the creek bottom, which is my guess they'll probably come down to the creek bottom at night and on private land and feed around down there. At least that's my hope. We'll have to see if anything shows up this evening. I was sitting here about 10 minutes and heard something running at me. Got a glimpse of one. There was at least two deer by the sound. And they just ran right past me, right over this little rise that I came up on top of. If I had sat down a little bit down there, I would have been able to see them come by me but they were running. They just ran off onto private land. I couldn't even tell it was buck or doe. That explains why they're running, because there's a dog running them. Maybe that dog will push them back out here. I, I don't know. I'm going to sit tight for a little bit. had a bucket about 20 about 20 yards it was uh it got behind some thicker stuff right before i was about to get a good broadside shot and he picked me off before i drew back i just moved a little bit too much there he is there he is Man. I clean missed him. I got shook up pretty bad. I saw an arrow go in front of him. Whew. Talk back close. I doubt I'm gonna find that arrow. He gave me a broadside shot though. Dad gum it. That's cool looking. At least a two-year-old buck. That was a cool-looking buck. Not not big rack, but real tall, cool. I'd love to have that deer. I just got a text message from the cat man. He just missed a buck. It's about par for the course of this trip. Ted and I don't have a lot of confidence. Cat man's in into deer sign and then gets shot and now the spirits are down again. <laughs> Actually spirits are moderate. Cause at least he's in deer. Yeah, at least something somebody's into something. I guess maybe we should be on our toes, huh? That's the closest I've come yet on this trip. It's not bad. Especially for just sitting here for a while. 
I'm not sure if I should sit here a while longer or if I should keep going with the plan. I really don't know. I can't make up my mind. I just had a deer sneak up on, sneak up behind me out of this thicket. I thought I heard something down here, but it was actually over here. And I turned around to face down that way and some deer blew at me right here in this thicket. They're definitely all around here right now. I don't know where that dog went, but golly. I need to hang tight and sit still. I got into some crunchy leaves here. I'm just trying to get back to the truck at this point and then over there, right across this little drainage, I heard a deer run off. I still hear something over there. Yeah, there's something over there, at least one deer. It's too thick to sneak through here without making noise. And even if I did see a deer down there in range, it's way too thick to shoot, so I'm just gonna quietly keep on going. The saddle I was working my way towards ended up being really thick. I'm kinda glad I took my time as much as I did. Slow down, saw some deer. Should have had a dead buck, my fault. And uh now I'm heading back to the truck. I'm gonna run into town, see if I can find some dry firewood. Uh, as much as I hate to pay premium gas station prices, I need to find something to burn that's not soaked or rotten. So now we'll meet up back at camp and make a game plan for the morning.